Hello, this is Police Chief John Perez of the Pasadena Police Department. We hope you are doing well and taking the necessary precautions to stay safe. We would like to take a moment and let you know we have not wavered in our commitment to you during these challenging times, and it's important to share what we are doing. We are very thankful for the tremendous cooperation and support throughout our community. It is clearly making a difference, so please continue to wear your face coverings, use social distancing, and practice proper health and safety precautions, uh, and let's continue our efforts together. Additionally, in partnership with our health and fire departments, we have developed several helpful field procedures to keep officers safe as we stay focused on critical tasks. We are practicing various ways to investigate crime and develop methods so you can report non-critical police matters. These include the ability to report a variety of crimes online at our website. And during this pandemic, we have expanded the types of crimes you are able to report. We have also developed a telephone reporting unit to assist our residents in various ways. We encourage you to call the department's non-emergency telephone number listed below for non-urgent matters. And please, continue to call 911 for all emergencies. Additionally, you may see passing the police officers wearing personal protective items, cloth face coverings, and other safety equipment. Please do not be alarmed or discouraged from approaching the officers. The protective equipment is intended to protect you as well as our first responders. It is for the safety of everyone. Finally, I encourage you to take steps to prevent being the victim of a crime. Secure your home and cars and remove all items of value from view. It is also important to be aware there are individuals who see the pandemic as an opportunity to take advantage of people through a variety of scams. Do not be a victim of telephone, email, or in-person scams for money or requests for personal information. Hang up on those attempting phone scams. Do not open your door or engage those who may be attempting to defraud you. The Pasadena Police Department remains visible and active during these challenging times, and we continue to respond to your needs. We are staying connected with our community through video conferencing, social media, and good old-fashioned phone calls. So as we journey forward through these difficult times, continue to support one another and help those in need. We cannot do this without you, so let's stay united and work through this together. We appreciate your time in listening to our community message, and more importantly, please take care. Good afternoon, my name is Brian Frieders and I am the Interim Fire Chief for the Pasadena Fire Department. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for taking the time to listen to this important message. Uh, as the Fire Chief and as a member of our public safety team, I think it's really important for us to be able to talk to you about what's happening in the city, especially as it's related to the Fire Department and emergency response. Uh, I also want to acknowledge the community. This, the city of Pasadena has really risen to this occasion. It's really complimentary to us as public safety professionals and to city employees uh, to recognize the community and their willingness to comply with all the, op the health officer's orders. It's a real challenge, obviously, through what we're going on, uh, what's going on in the city, but uh, to have a community like you that is compliant and is willing to help us out by staying home and wearing masks when you're within six feet of people and really doing your part to help minimize the risk and the experience exposure to COVID-19. I think it's important for us to acknowledge how great of a community Pasadena really is and how wonderful of a job you're all doing. So thank you on behalf of all of us in public safety. Um, I'm happy to report the fire department still remains fully functional. We have not had any deficiencies or any lapses of response. Uh, we are seeing uh, an increase in our responses, uh, not necessarily to COVID-19, but our responses are continuing to increase. Fortunately, we have not had any catastrophic fires or any significant incidents, uh, but the volume of calls does continue to go up. Um, when we come to your house, if, if for some reason you need to call us, I want to just make a point that when we show up to your door, we may look a little bit different than you've seen us in the past. We're going to be wearing a lot of different types of personal protective equipment, masks, which you've seen other people wear, but we also may be wearing gowns, face shields, and other items that protect us from getting the virus, but more importantly, it protects you because of the number of people that we see on a regular basis. So we're doing that as a protective mechanism, not only for us, but also for you. You as well. I also want to make sure that you understand that the City Emergency Operations Center is up and operational. It has been for almost a month now. Uh, we're at level two, which means we have all of the section chief staffed, and we're really doing a great job in making sure we're using our emergency operations plan effectively. With that, we're also aggressively pursuing all of our FEMA reimbursement opportunities. I know there's a lot of questions about the economic impact of the city. Uh, I'm happy to report that our finance department is doing an outstanding job of making sure we capture all of the opportunities of available for us to recapture the money we're spending in dealing with this terrible pandemic. 
The alternate care site that's happened up at the convention center is ready to go. We have not had anybody use that yet, but it is available for the hospital should their surge capacity materialize that they've talked about. Uh, we're ready to go with that, and so is the hospital, which again is another testament to the city's wise investment in making sure that our people are protected. Lastly, I just want to encourage you to remain calm. We're remaining calm. We see everything that's going on around us. And I know the news reports and some of the other media outlets suggest that there's a lot of really bad things happening. And that may be true. But what I want to encourage you to do is just remain calm. Listen to what the health officer's orders are. Even though it may not be a, a comfortable thing for you to do, make sure you comply with those because really together, we can make a tremendous difference in reducing our risk. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day.